Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I miss you so much. I would love to do a live stream one of these days, but I just haven't got the time. But I desire to do a live stream so we can interact. Right, today I just want to share something with you. That if the storms are ranging so much, you find yourself in a place that you, you feel so overwhelmed. You think there's nothing working. You are fasting, you are praying, you are seeking God, you are giving to charity, you are taking care of the poor, the needy, the widows, you name it. And yet, your, pro your problems or your troubles are just staring at you straight in the eye. This is something I've personally been doing these days. And I've noticed a change. I find out that I'm having some kind of inner peace, some wave of peace is flowing through me and things that I'm struggling with, troubles, problems that I'm facing, they're all, the storm is seizing. I'm seeing a change. So I just want to share that with you briefly. You try it, see if it works for you too. When you read the book of um, 2 Kings 3 verse 17, it says, the Lord says, yeah, 2 Kings Three verse seventeen. This is a new, uh, new international version, right? It says, "For this is what the Lord says: You would, you, you would neither see the rain. No, I don't want this one. Let me read my my King James version. I'm struggling to read that one. Okay, let me read King James version. It says, "That says the Lord: You shall not see the wind, nor shall you see the rain, yet." Your valley shall be filled with water, so that you, your cattle, and your animals may drink. Okay. In my interpretation is that, no, regardless of what you're going through, you feel there's no ease. You're not getting your breakthrough. You are not getting your miracles. There's nothing happening. Although you're seeking God, knocking, seeking God, yet nothing is happening. You may not see that God is doing anything. There will be total silence or you're facing total silence in everything you're asking God. Everything seems to be dead in your life. Yet the Bible says you may not see the rain. You may not see the wind. Yet your valley will be filled with water. You may not see any miracle coming your way. You may not see any signs and wonders. But when the right time comes, God will fill that valley with water. God will give you a supernatural, dumbfounded testimony. There will be a supernatural turnaround that will shock you because you've not seen the rain, you've not seen the wind, yet you have seen a miracle. And one other thing I've been doing is that when I finish praying in the morning, I just lay down on the floor and be rolling on the ground, thanking God. I say to God, Father, you know why I'm going through this. You know better. You see what is ahead of me. You see the future. You know the past. You know what is going to come, what is coming and everything. But what I can say is that I can't see anything. But I thank you for all that you are doing for me. I'll be rolling on the, on the floor. And I say, God, I thank you. And this is very common practice with Ghanaians and Nigerians. I'm saying that on record because we, I know Nigerians do it and Ghanaians also do it. They do it when God has done something great for them. They roll on the floor to give thanks to God. So even though my valley, <laughs> I can't see anything. I can't see the wind. I can't see the, 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 the rain. Yet I'm thanking God for my valley is full. That's what I do. I'm thanking God for my valley is full. I'm giving all the glory. I'm giving all the adoration. I exalt him. Sometimes I say, God, whether you bless me or not, you reign as my king. Whether you bless me, you give me a miracle or not, you stand as my God. There's no other. Guys, this is what I've been personally, I've been doing for some three, four weeks now. I said, okay, it's good I share this with people who are willing to do it. It's not mandatory. You can do it and see what the Lord will do for you. Because me, I see a move. A valley is being filled with water. Roll on the ground. Give God all the glory. Thank you for all that you're doing. I can see them, but I thank you for it. I can, I can feel it. But God, I give you all your praise.
Guys, just try it. And I know there's going to be a miracle for you. There's something going to be a miracle for you. A miracle will come. <laughs> you may see so dry. Listen, I don't share things that I have no witness. I know the pain. I know the heat. I know the frustration that you're praying. Nothing is happening. But just keep pushing keep giving all the glory you haven't have your miracle yet the job hasn't come the babies haven't come here yet your house that you want hasn't come yet keep giving god all the glory thank you thank him keep thanking him keep thanking him stop the the moaning the complaining and just give him all the glory give him all the thanks and something miracle, miraculous will move for you guys if you love my videos please do share it on and subscribe to the channel share it on and subscribe to the channel like the videos and comment Nice comment though, right? Critical comment. Show me if I'm doing anything wrong. You add to it. You tell me, Sophia, next time read this verse, you do this. Then we, you build me together with God. Yeah. Okay. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Shalom.